Hi, it's Melanie, and today I want to talk to you about the summer cleanse that's coming up. It starts next week on August 7th, and I announced it last weekend, and I'm excited to answer some of your questions. I've gotten a few questions from some of you who are interested in cleansing, but you haven't cleansed before, and you really want to know what to expect, and I really want to answer those questions for you. So first of all, people ask me, what is a cleanse? And there's not really, obviously, one set definition. A lot of people use this term and it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So in this case, what we're talking about is doing a week-long protocol that really focuses on increasing your vegetable intake and as well as your fruits and nuts and seeds and other plant foods. But it's really primarily dedicated to focusing on vegetables for one week. And this particular protocol is a vegan protocol, so that means there's no animal products that are in the protocol. That, that being said, in certain situations, you can bring in animal proteins if you need to. I think it's still beneficial if you were to follow the recipes and really increase your vegetable intake, really increase the plant foods in your diet, even if you need it to stay on the animal protein. Uh, for whatever reason. So the protocol itself doesn't include recipes with animal protein and the idea is to give your body a little bit of a rest and a break from how you usually eat and really switch things up and focus on, in this case, the small intestine. We're going to be focusing on really uh, healing that organ which can help you with your digestion as well as any other symptoms you may be experiencing as you move forward after the cleanse. So. In this case, cleansing has nothing to do with starving. It has nothing to do with being hungry. It's just about eating different foods. So you still eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snacks if you need them, just as you normally would, but you're eating different things than you normally do. So the cleanse is really about what foods you're eating, not about getting rid of you know, meals or only having you know less meals or fewer times that you're eating or anything like that. So there's no um, powdered like product or anything like that. This is a whole food cleanse. It's a truly food cleanse, which really means that you're cooking. So uh, one of the questions I get is, you know, will I be spending the whole week in the kitchen? And the answer is, you know, maybe. <laughs> kind of depends how much help you have and what kind of recipes you're trying. You don't have to follow the recipes in the protocol. You could just follow the food list. It tells you what foods are allowed and what foods um, to avoid for the week. And you can follow that and create your own recipe and um, meals from there. So um, I find when I do these cleanses that there is a lot of prep work at the beginning. So um, because you're going from you know your normal diet one day to something totally new the next day, there is a little bit of um, additional prep work that it takes to be able to be ready for that. So I do find that it helps to plan ahead and, and think about what meals and recipes I'm going to be um, having as I start my cleanse and then there is some prep work that may have to go into that at the beginning and I find that um, the, the beginning half of the cleanse is heavier in prep work and then as I have more leftovers and more things prepared that last half of the week is a lot easier. So how will I feel? That's another question I've been getting and will I feel um, badly during the cleanse? Will I have symptoms crop up? And the answer is maybe. Maybe you will. Uh, the first time I did a cleanse I did have more fatigue and I had um, my eyes were really dry. I think I needed to drink way more water than I even thought I needed to just because I was increasing my fiber so much. So a lot of that depends on where you're starting. So if you're starting with um, a really, really uh, high vegetable diet already, and then maybe this isn't that much of a change for you. Maybe you won't experience very many symptoms. And on the other hand, if you already live with a lot of daily symptoms, maybe some of those will be resolved through this process. So it's not necessarily comfortable to cleanse. There can be some detoxification symptoms that come up, like headaches or something like that. But generally, increasing your water and just continuing to move through it um, gives you the benefits in the end that you're looking for. So I still encourage it. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. There's uh, daily support so that you can ask your questions and get personal attention if you need it throughout the cleanse. So I'm just reading my little list here I have on my computer to see if there's other questions I haven't answered yet. Another one is about if you're cleansing and you have other family members that you provide meals for. So I have a daughter who's two. Obviously, I wouldn't put her on a cleanse. Although when I do these cleanses, she loves to eat the food. It's just, you know, vegetable dishes. It's not anything she can't eat. And she loves to eat the soups and things that I make. So she does actually end up eating a lot of the vegetables that I make. And then I just make something additional for her on the side. If it's a protein and a grain, something like that to round out her meal. So that's what 
what I would recommend if you have other family members who aren't cleansing with you. Of course, if you have a spouse or something like that, it's nice to do it together. But you can also, um, like I said, just create the meals for yourself and add things onto that for the rest of your family. And hopefully that will make it a little bit easier. And then, obviously, um, one of the biggest questions is what are the benefits? What are the benefits of cleansing? And as I mentioned, this is a cleanse focused on the small intestine, and that's your major organ of absorption. So if you're having issues absorbing your nutrients, then that can create a whole host of signs and symptoms that's different for everybody. So you want to make sure that... Um, you know, one of the things I, that I hear people a lot say is you are what you eat. And uh, one of my mentor's favorite quotes is, um, you're not what you eat, but what your body can do with what you eat. And the whole idea is that, you know, there is a relationship that happens when you eat food. It goes into your body and that that where the food meets your body and how they interact together, it really determines um, wh what you get from that. So whether you're even absorbing all the nutrients or not. So um, this week we really wanna focus on making sure that your small intestine is really in shape to handle that job and that you can absorb all of the good things that you're taking in um, on a daily basis. So if you're having digestive symptoms, if you're having gas or bloating, those are just indications that your digestion isn't working optimally and that would be a sign that a cleanse like this could be great for you. And even other symptoms like fatigue, headaches, cravings, low energy, um, which I guess is the same thing as fatigue, or having any type of skin issues, all of those can be indications that your digestion needs a little bit more help. So I would encourage you to consider the cleanse. The website to check it out is tinyurl.com forward slash Melanie's Summer Cleanse. So go there. It'll have a lot more details. And if you have any questions for me, I can give you a little bit more information on what the protocol looks like, what the days will look like, and what the foods are, the foods that are included. So I really hope you'll join me. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer in this video, please post below in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.